going to speak let's read this paragraph and find out is anything awkward in this paragraph let's read Choosing the right clothes for an occasion can be a thoughtful process. A well-chosen clothes can transform my clothes into fashion. Whether I'm opting for a traditional clothes or modern clothes, the texture and material of my clothing play an important role. So when I choose what to wear, I think about both, how it looks and what it's made of. Have you noticed the word cloth is repeatable in this paragraph and it's very annoying. So let's learn how we can make this paragraph more interesting. But for that you need to learn various synonyms for the word cloth. So first let's check out various synonyms and then we will rewrite this paragraph. So as you may know that clothes are of two types. Casual clothes and formal clothes. Casual clothes are comfortable, relaxed and informal in nature. You wear this clothes on regular basis like for everyday activities or hanging out with friends or just walking around comfortably. Let's see some sentences to understand the usage of this word casual clothes. I usually wear casual clothes when I'm just relaxing at home or when I go for a walk in the park, I prefer to wear casual clothes. So casual clothes are one which is comfortable to you and it is informal in nature. On the other hand, formal clothes are those clothes which are suitable for special occasion. These clothes are generally more stylish than the everyday clothing. Let's see some sentences. I wore formal clothes to the job interview to make a good impression or she looked stunning in her elegant formal gown at the charity gala. So in these two sentences, I'm talking about a particular occasion. Like in the first sentence, I'm talking about a job interview. And in the second sentence, we are talking about a special charity event. So in these two sentences, I use the word formal clothes. I hope you understand the difference between formal and casual clothes. Now next, synonym of the clothes, attire. When you dress up for a function, the cloth you choose is your attire. It means attire is a complete set of clothing you put on. It includes various things like dresses, shirts, pants and your accessories also. So attire is your full getup when you dress up for a party. Let's see some sentences now. She carefully selected her beautiful attire or his formal attire for the job interview included a suit, tie and polished shoes. She chose a comfortable yet stylish attire for the outdoor picnic wearing a casual dress and sandals. Or the princess wore stunning attire for the royal party. See in all these sentences I am talking about the full dressing sense like it may include the sandals, it may include accessories. I am not only talking about the dress but attire include all the things whether it's your accessories, whether it's your footwear, it include all the things. Alright, okay now let's move towards our next word and that is apparel. Apparel. Apparel is again a type of clothing but it is much broader. Imagine when you talk about a store specializing in men's and women's apparel. It means you are saying that the store sells a variety of clothing items like shirts, pants, dresses, coats and much more. So apparel consists of entire range of clothing options available to you. I hope it's clear. Let's see examples. The new boutique offers a diverse range of fashionable apparel for all ages. The company is known for its high quality athletic apparel including sports bra, leggings and sneakers. She works in the apparel industry designing stylish clothing for children and teenagers. Next word is garment. Garment is a single piece of clothing. So if you are talking about only one category of clothes, then it comes under the category of garment. For example, tops. If you are talking about tops, then it may include various things like shirts, t-shirts, blouses, sweaters, jackets. So all these things are related to a top. So these clothes contains one category and that is tops. 
Another example is bottoms. If I'm talking about bottom, then it may include various things like pants, skirts, shorts, trousers. So all the things come under the one category and that is bottoms. So when we are talking about a garment, we are talking about one category only. I hope this one is clear. Let's see one more example. Uh, like if I'm talking about dresses. And dresses mean that cloth which covers our entire body. Let's see some sentences. The store offers a variety of outdoor garments suitable for different weather conditions. Or the company is committed to using sustainable materials in their garment production. And last, the museum's collection includes garments worn by notable figures throughout the history. So when you're talking about garments, you are talking about only one category of cloth last but not the least is vintage vintage refers to the old fashioned clothes so these clothes are related to the special times in the past and vintage clothes remind us unique style from the past so whenever you see the old fashioned clothes you can call that vintage clothes let's see some sentences at the themed party, everyone dressed in a vintage clothing from the 1970s, complete with bell-bottom jeans and disco shirts. The antique shop specializes in selling beautiful vintage clothing items, including lace dresses and blouses. She attended the event in a stunning vintage gown from 19. 20. So in all these sentences, I'm talking about the old-fashioned clothes, but what I use the word vintage. All right. So these are the synonyms. I hope the meaning of these synonyms are clear to you. Now it's time to rewrite that paragraph. Let's change the word cloth with its various synonyms and let's see how interesting that paragraph could be. Choosing the right clothes for an occasion can be a thoughtful process. Now here I'm talking about a look of a person like it includes all the things. So instead of clothes, I can choose the word attire here. Choosing the right attire for an occasion can be a thoughtful process. A well chosen clothes can transform my clothes into fashion. So instead of clothes here, I can replace the word with garment because I talk about a particular type of cloth here. So I can say a well chosen garment can transform my clothes into fashion. Whether I'm opting for traditional clothes or modern clothes, the texture and the material of my clothing play an important role. I use the word traditional clothes. We have learned that the synonym is vintage. So I can replace this word with the word vintage. Whether I'm opting for a vintage look or a modern fabric, the texture and material of my clothing play an important role. So when I choose what to wear, I think about both how it looks and what it's made of. So no need to change anything in this line. Now check out the different and see how interesting this paragraph is because it, this paragraph has advanced vocabulary. Now that's it for today's video. If you have learned anything in this video, then please do like, share and subscribe. Enjoy your learning. Bye-bye.